and welcome to the Bookworm Reviews. This is our show where we go into depth about reviewing books that we hope our customers could definitely get into. We review books for everyone. We're here at the Bookworm. I'm Kaylee Weisgerber, the host, and I work here with my mom, Leanne Weisgerber, the owner of the store. Come check us out off Y Road. This is the Sherwood Park Bookworm. We're an independent, locally owned bookstore off of Y Road, behind the Smileys and next to the Park Mazda. We've been open for 34 years and have recently moved into the Y Road location five years ago. It is run by Leanne Weisgerber. We have a large selection of books, all the way from mystery and suspense, self-help, we have romance, westerns, classics, poetry, and so much more. And we pride ourselves on a wonderful young adult section and children. We have gift cards that you can purchase for great gifts and so much more at the Bookworm. We would love for you to come and check us out. Hello and welcome back to the Bookworm Reviews. Um, we're so excited to have you all back today. Today we are going to be looking at the book Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. This is one of my more recent reads that I just read. It is a contemporary mystery thriller. Um, Janelle Brown, she started off as a journalist um, slash essayist. Uh, she wrote for um, Vogue. Her pieces have been featured on the New York Times and many other places that she has written for. That's where she kind of got her start. And then she got into writing. Um, this was released April 21st, 2022. So it's still relatively a newer release. Um, she lives in Los Angeles with her husband and two kids. Um, so that's Janelle Brown. She has a couple other books that you can also check out by her our new website for the Sherwood Park Bookworm. There is so many books listed on there, some of which from the store we have. You can go on there and check them out. We do do shipping directly to you and you can buy them online from the store. There's also many genres listed on there individually. Um, you have adult section, mystery, suspense, and so much more. You can check out directions on how to get here as well as upcoming events and so much more on our new website. Please check it out parkbookworm.ca. So this one starts off with Nina, who is introduced as our main character. She is a thief, so she targets um, rich people's children and she goes after them and robs smaller items from them, still expensive but nothing crazy so that doesn't really attract attention. And that's how she kind of gets by and makes her living. She has a partner, Lachlan, who they do it together, partners in crime. We also have another main character who is also a narrator in the story, which is Vanessa. She comes from a much wealthier family. She has, her family has a place called Stonehaven. It's on Lake Tahoe. It's another state that they own. So the book is divided into eight different parts and each part flip flops between Nina's point of view and then Vanessa's point of view. So Nina comes from a much, she uh, was raised by a single mom. Mom didn't really have an official job, comes from a much more, um, poor, if you will, background, whereas Vanessa comes from a lavish, old money type of family. So very different contrasting main characters. They met each other before in their past when they were younger um, teenagers. Uh, their paths cross whilst on Lake Tahoe. It involves around um, Stonehaven. That's where they met only briefly. Um, but then now their paths are crossing once again, once again intertwined when uh, Nina and her partner Lachlan decide that they are going to make another heist. Somehow they found out that Stonehaven has a large sum of money and they are going to go 
and rob it from Vanessa. And Vanessa is renting out Stonehaven as an Airbnb. So they create fake identities and they go live at this Airbnb with Vanessa to carry out this heist of theirs, this big money heist. And they're doing this because the police start sniffing around. They need to change their setting from where they are currently. So it's a really cool book. A weekly event we do here at the store is Thrifty Thursday. Every Thursday we add new titles that would typically be $12 and reduce them down to $3 and there's always more to choose from for Thrifty Thursday. Look at flip flops between both um, perspectives so you get two different narrations from very different contrasting characters and they also um, dive into flashbacks of the past so you kind of get a better understanding of how the two girls know each other, how they first met and kind of how their paths are connected and intertwined with each other. So the flashbacks are really nice. You really get to go back in time. And the other nice thing about this book is you really see um, how the characters become how they are, how their character personality and their traits develop based off of their different um, family situations and their upbringings. Obviously they came from very different upbringings and it really shows how that has affected them now and how they um, how this influences their current choices. So it's a very nice contrast between the two of them that just really ties the whole book together, which is one of the reasons that I really enjoyed reading this book because there were so many different elements to it that were so nice to dive into. So it's rated 3.9 stars on Goodreads and yeah, what a it's a wonderful book and I would definitely recommend checking this one out uh, when you're looking for your next read. So yeah, come back next week. Next week we will be reviewing The Book Thief, oh, holding it upside down, The Book Thief by Mark Zeus, Z oh gosh, Marcus Zukas. Sorry, butchered that name, that's all right. <laughs> so this is what we'll be looking into next week. So make sure you come back and stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for coming back. We'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Susan Baker. I am the owner of Lucha Fun First. We are located at 7115 101st Avenue Northwest in the Capilano Otwell neighborhood. We carry an assortment of home decor. We also have candles, jewelry. We have outdoor garden, home and garden as well. We do carry an assortment of clothing. We recently added the Joseph Ripkoff line that is doing very well in the store right now. We try and support Canadian vendors as much as possible, so a lot of our stuff comes in from Vancouver. Everyone's heard of Papillon, we carry a good assortment of them. We've just introduced Tribal as another line uh, this summer, and we're also gonna be bringing it in in the fall. We also carry our Wild Prairie soaps that is made in Edmonton. We carry the hand creams, the soaps, and their rock soap dishes. Some of the jewelry that we carry, this line here is Merck's, and this is in from Toronto. We also carry some of the hammered metal in the Glee jewelry as well, and that is out of Vancouver Island. We also carry the Inish perfume from Ireland. It comes in the cologne, the body wash, and the body lotion. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well as our website at info at boutiqueonfirst.com or info at boutiqueonfirst for our Instagram and Facebook.
This is the Sherwood Park Bookworm. We're an independent, locally owned bookstore off of Y Road, behind the Smileys and next to the Park Mazda. We've been open for 34 years and have recently moved into the Y Road location five years ago. It is run by Leanne Weisgerber. We have a large selection of books, all the way from mystery and suspense, self-help, we have romance, westerns, classics, poetry, and so much more. And we pride ourselves on a wonderful young adult section and children. We have gift cards that you can purchase for great gifts and so much more at the Bookworm. We would love for you to come and check us out.